My name is William Gallagher. I am with Market Traders Institute. Now, I will be discussing today uh, our ultimate market scanner. I'm going to show you today how MTI's ultimate market scanner, I can quickly help you find and set up your next trading opportunity. So we did this last week during Investor Inspiration, had a really good response to it. I'll actually pull up the trades that we did last week in, in last week's Investor Inspiration, and I'll show you the results we got from that. But what I want to do is, before we get started here, I uh, want to go ahead and let everybody know that uh, I will be going in my market. I will be showing some actual trading opportunities here today. I okay. All right. Oops. Strategies here about when you ultimately decide to place a trade, uh, that is your decision to make that trade in yours alone. So uh, let's go ahead. Uh, as we're getting started here, let me go ahead and do a quick introduction of myself. Uh, once again, for those of you uh, not familiar with who I am, uh, William Gallagher, Market Traders Institute. I am with Senior Market Analyst here. I've actually been trading in these markets since about 1998, so I do have several years of experience in trading in these markets. Uh, I've also worked for several different financial companies, and I also uh, know what goes on behind the scenes in the financial world, and I am a multi-class trader. I do trade stocks, I do trade options, and I do trade uh, the Forex market. Uh, what I want to do is, uh, before we get started here, it looks like I have one or two of you saying that you're having some audio issues. Uh, on a scale from 1 to 10, 10 being the best, 1 being the worst, how is the audio quality? I'll make sure, like I said, we were having some technical I am coming to you live here today. This is actually our building. I'm actually broadcasting out of that building here today. Uh, we are a market technology and an education company. Uh, you can come to our building, get trained live in person. Uh, we've seen that come to our building on a daily basis, and they get trained on how to trade stocks, options, and the Forex market. Uh, we're located in Orlando, Florida, and we've been around for about 22 years. And over the last 22 years, we've actually trained over 30,000 students on how to trade. Now, that is actually worldwide. Uh, what I want to also know here, some of you might recognize this logo down here in the bottom right-hand corner of our screen, uh, Inc. Magazine. Happy to announce we were featured in the most recent Inc. 5000 list of fastest growing companies in the world. Uh, we got on this list for one thing. The bottom line is we are getting results for our team and our students in this market. Uh, our success here comes from building successful traders. Uh, we do that here by providing a combination of tools, training, and live in the market mentorship. So what ends up happening is when a new person, they join our team here, I start getting some results and then through word of mouth it just blossoms from there. Uh, as you can see in this letter here we got from Inc. Magazine, we're mentioned in the same breath as GoPro, uh, Under Armour, Microsoft, just to name a couple of the companies. And uh, this only continues if we keep delivering the results. Now the results I'll show you here today, uh, they are actually results here that our team and our students are getting in this market. But what I want to do is before we get started here, uh, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to a different microphone here. But in the meantime, uh, just to get an idea of what your trading experience is, if everybody can just go ahead and uh, look on the screen here. If you are a stock trader, go ahead and type stocks in the chat box. Uh, if you are a Forex trader, go ahead and type in Forex. Uh, if you trade both, type in both. Because when we, I'm about to pull the market scanner up here in about one second, uh, what I'd like to do is I want to get an idea of who, what you more or less focus on. We can focus on that when we go in here. So thank you for that, Chris, John, David, uh, Karen, Steve, Arnie. Great. So uh, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to a different microphone, and we will get started here. Okay, great. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully the audio quality is a little bit better here. I switched over to a different uh, headset microphone. So let's go ahead. Yeah, it looks like, okay, wow, I got a lot of you. Uh, stocks, stocks, stocks. Uh, I got a couple Forex traders here. Okay, great. So it uh, looks like we have some of you that uh, are, are trading both. Uh, that, that's going to be great because I'm going to hold the charts up here in just a second, and we will go over uh, both of them here today. Great. Thank you. I, I appreciate those of you responding. Let me know that the all audio quality uh, is much better as well. I just switched over to a headset. So uh, let's go ahead. Let's get started here. For those of you who are unfamiliar with how our market scanner works, uh, the neat thing about that, uh, you can quickly scan the market looking for opportunities utilizing this market scanner. So that's the neat thing about this is that, uh, for instance here, in the stock and options market, uh, there's over 40,000 different stocks that you can watch and trade. Uh, if you're trying to sit down at your table trying to find these opportunities here, 
Uh, the thing is that um, there, you might find one or two opportunities, but the problem is that there might be a bunch that you're missing out on. And with the Forex market, it's a little bit narrow, and I'll go over the Forex market for you here in just a second. Uh, basically, what the market scanner is going to do, and I'll pull it up here for just a second. Uh, for those of you, maybe you pull up your charts, you might be scratching your head saying, well, what do I do? How do I get started as far as finding opportunity in the market? The market scanner is going to quickly help you do that here. What it's going to do, uh, for instance, here, I'm going to pull up the scanner here and show you how it actually works, uh, but it's actually going to help you find potential trading opportunities. This is one from last week here. Uh, or actually, this wasn't one from last week. I'm sorry about this. This is another example here. But uh, right here, it's going to give you your entry, your profit targets, your stop loss. You can pull up a bunch of information. In fact, with stocks and options, I'll actually show you here how you can pull up a bunch more information, like your options chain and that sort of thing with this as well here. So all of everything's already done for you. You can simply use this as a standalone tool. I'm actually going to show you some trading strategies here of how you can implement this into your trading strategy uh, to help you find trading opportunities in the market. Now, uh, what I'm going to do right here, uh, for those of you that were in our webinar last week, you know that I pulled this one up here on Facebook. Here's what happened. I showed you this one live last week. Uh, it hit profit, tar our entry was right here. It hit profit target number one, and it hit profit target number two. Uh, this is another one, Tesla. Uh, this was our entry right here, the market scanner called. It hit profit target number one and profit target number two within one, two, about three hours uh, during that time period last week here. Uh, we have another one here. Uh, okay, so let's go. Here, I'm going to actually pull up my charts here. And I'll show you some of these other ones that we had here. So uh, this was uh, AT&T. I showed you this one as well. This was our entry, profit target number one, profit target number two, and just like that here. Let me see if there's any other ones here that I can show you. I showed you Tesla, Facebook. In fact, actually, out of the, what, about five or six trades I showed you, uh, uh, we were winning, had winning trades on AT&T, Facebook, Tesla. Uh, and also, we did a stock trade here on the, uh, let me pull this one up here. I'm sorry, a, a, a Forex trade. Uh, for those of you Forex traders, I called, showed you this one uh, last week as well. Uh, this was on the pound Canadian dollar. The scanner said this was our entry. First profit target number one, 182 pips. Second profit target number two down here, 438 pips. Called right from the market scanner. It was in the recording last week. And actually, uh, if you pull up the recording, you'll see I actually uh, showed you that one here. So well, let's go ahead. Let's go in right now. And I'm going to pull up the market scanner. And let's actually start going in here, and I'll show you how this actually works here. In fact, let me pull that up. Uh, just like this. And before we get started here, uh, if everybody could just go ahead, when you see the market scanner on uh, the chart, just go ahead and type in Y, type in yes. I want to make sure that there isn't a delay. Everybody does, in fact, see the market scanner on here. I'm going to grab a quick sip of water, and we will jump in here, and I'll show you how this actually works here. Okay, great. Thank you, Victor, Arnie, Steve, uh, G, uh, Paul, uh, Anthony, John. Okay, just so, for those of you that are brand new to the scanner, just let me go ahead and show you how this works. Now, the market scanner, in fact, yeah, some of you have been asking here, uh, Ma Ma Mohammed, I hope I'm pronouncing that, is asking if there's one for futures. Yeah, you can use the scanner for stocks, ETFs, futures, and the Forex. I'm going to show you some uh, stock trades, trades here, opportunities, and some Forex opportunities here today. Uh, the neat thing about the market scanner, I'm going to go here and show you how to do some scans very quickly on this. Uh, it, you can just find a lot of market information. In fact, you pull this up right here, and if we were to look, say, we're looking at Facebook, FB. And we can pull up a bunch of information on Facebook very quickly here. Recent quotes, uh, recent trades. I uh, can pull the options chain uh, right up from this. For those of my options traders, we do trade, uh, teach options education here uh, with this as well. Uh, financials, uh, analyst information, uh, recent earnings reports, and that sort of thing. I can pull this all up right from the scanner here. So what I want to do is, uh, let's see, we have, okay, good. We're doing pretty good on time right now. Let's go ahead, let's jump in right now. And I saw most of you here are stock traders, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to show you here some opportunities here for stocks, and then I promise you we'll pull this up for the Forex market as well. Uh, so let's go ahead, let's jump in right now. Uh, how we use the market scanner, and one of the things I want to explain to everybody is that the market scanner, it's actually embedded into our charting platform. Uh, but here's the neat thing about this here. The neat thing about this, for those of you that have been to our webinars before, I'm actually going to show you today how you can get this as a standalone tool risk-free here today. I'll explain how that works here in just a second. Uh, but let's go ahead. Let's get, jump in right now. Let me quickly explain to you how this actually all works and comes together. Now, first of all, we look at our time frame. We're just going to leave this as a daily signal right now. Uh, we can choose the, whether we're going to be conservative or aggressive. Uh, we can then choose an index. Uh, if there's a specific index that you want to choose, you can do that, or we'll just simply use this as all stocks. And then we can choose uh, whether we want to be bullish or bearish on the long term and on the short term. So all we have to do then is simply hit scan all. And just like that, it pulls up 
all these opportunities in the market. Like I said, in the stock market, there's over 40,000 different stocks you can watch and trade. Uh, this just narrowed it down to about, we're about six or 7,000 uh, just off of that right there. Now, obviously, this is a little bit more than you want to look at. You can't really sit down and, and look at six or 7,000 stocks all at once. And plus, if you come in here, you look at some of these here, two cents, uh, four cents. Uh, here's one for $3.65. You probably might not want to even look at some of these. So what we can do is we can come in here and we can narrow this down a little bit. We can come in here, let's just set our minimum price at $20 and we'll set our minimum volume at $1 million. And then we hit scan all once again. And then we come in here, that narrows it down even more. It narrows it down to, what, about 424, 130. So about, we'll say about 600 different opportunities to look at. So that does narrow it down a little bit, but I think most of you agree, trying to sit down and look at 600 trades, uh, opportunities at one time, probably unreasonable here. In fact, if you look at some of these here, uh, some of them have already hit their profit targets. In fact, let me quickly explain to you how this market scanner works. Uh, it's going to give you your entry, for, for instance, here on LinkedIn. Our entry would have been at 117.71. It's telling us our first profit target was at 120.44. Second profit target was at 153.38. It tells us our stop, our stop loss. And you can see here we're up about 24% in about 60 days off of this trade right here. So if we pull up our chart here, uh, it'll give you a little bit more detailed information showing you how this actually works. And the only thing about this is that uh, the market scanner, as you can see here, it automatically will move your stop loss up as well. So the neat thing about this is that as the market goes up, it will move your stop loss up and you'll be able to lock in some of those profits as it's going up uh, just like that here. Now, like I said, a lot of these here have already hit their profit targets. What we're really looking for, in fact, let me see if I can find any here, is what's called either a pre-buy or a pre-sell opportunity. Those are opportunities that are happening in the market right now. So here's what we can do. To show you very easily how we can find this, we simply just come up here and we hit pre-buy, just like this. And then it narrows it down to eight different opportunities right here. So how many of you think that eight opportunities would be a little bit more manageable than trying to come in here, sift through all this, and trying to find all these opportunities? So uh, basically what's saying right here is that uh, we have an NOV, MJN, uh, Campbell Soup, CPB, uh, Ralph Lauren, uh, raw stores, Fossil, Wind, Wyndham, and we also have LaSalle ho uh, Hotel Properties. Uh, well, here's the thing. As I explained to you before, the market scanner, it is a standalone tool. You can come in here and you can simply enter your information just like this, and it, it, you can call your trades just like this. Now, the reason some of my trades were more profitable last week is about to what I'm about to show you right here. If you look at some of these opportunities, let's, for instance, look at NOV right here. It's telling us our entry is going to be, we're going to be buying into the market when it hits 34.94. It's telling us our first profit target's at 38.22. Second profit target's at 43.91. Stop loss is at 32.71. So if we were to look at this here, uh, we basically are risking two going after four. It's about a two to one risk ratio. Uh, not too bad. A little bit better on the long term here. Uh, risking two going after about nine. So that's about about a four to one or so. Uh, not too bad on that opportunity here. Uh, we have MJN. Our entry would be at 85.59. Uh, first profit target is at 88.66, so we'd be going after about three dollars on that one, uh, about 11 on on the second profit target, but our risk is about three dollars here. So probably not the best reward to risk ratio. And that's one of the things we'll teach you is we'll teach you how to do a uh, proper equity management as well in here, proper equity management, risk management with these trades. Uh, now what I want to do is I'm going to come down here. Let me show you this one right here, Ralph Lauren RL. This one here is probably a pretty good opportunity. In fact, we actually have a couple good opportunities here. Wyndham, uh, it looks like it's a pretty good reward risk ratio. Uh, Ross stores as well, but Ralph Lauren, check this one out. It's telling us our entry is at 95.41. First profit target is at 105.51. Second profit target is at 116.12. And our stop loss is at 91.85. So we're risking about four on this, uh, going after 10 at the first profit target, so that's about a two and a half to one risk ratio, and then we're going after 116 as the second profit target. So that right there is probably about a five to one uh, risk ratio on that trade opportunity. So let me show you how we would actually set this up here. Let's go ahead, let's click on Ralph Lauren. Uh, we click on chart, and uh, let's come in here, let's set this at candles, uh, just like this, and just like that. Yeah, yeah. John, I'll, I'll try to explain the risk-reward ratio here a little bit better in just a second. Uh, so basically, like I said, it's telling us our entry is going to be at 95.41. Uh, first profit target is at 105.51. Second profit target is at 116. And uh, what, let's say our stop loss is at uh, 91.83. So what we could do is we simply can literally move this over here to the side. I'm going to move this over here to the side. I'm going to move this over to my other model. I'll bring this back up here in just a second. Uh, what we can do is we can pull up 
the chart on Ralph Lauren. So let's go ahead and let's do that here. That was on a daily. Yeah, I'll change it over to stocks and just like this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to come in here and I'm going to take this information. It's telling us our entry is going to be at 95.41. I'll pull this back over here in just a second. 95.41 is going to be our entry. Our first profit target is going to be at 105.51. Uh, Let's change that blue to match what's on the market scanner. And then our second profit target is going to be up here at 116. Uh, 12. There we go. So uh, in fact, let me move this over here to the side, just like this. And I'll pull the market scanner back over so everybody can see what I'm showing everybody here. So everybody can see here, oops, well, one second. Yeah, it's not going to let me do it. But anyway, let me pull that back up here. Uh, there we go. Let me see if I can move this over here just a little bit. There we go. So I, ah. I might have to move this over here just a little bit more. There we go. So if everybody can see here, uh, first our entry, 95.41. First profit target is at 105.51. Uh, second profit target, oops, let me delete that, is going to be at 116.12. So you simply can translate this information over. And uh, yeah, for those who wonder what our stop loss is, our stop loss is going to be at 91. Uh, 83. So let me go ahead and let me put that information on here. So our stop loss is going to be at 91.83. So right there. So uh, basically we're risking on this trade. Oops. Let me delete that. Uh, we're risking on this trade about uh, $3.70. Our first profit target is $9.98. So we're essentially looking at about a $9.98 profit target. And it's about a 3 to 1 risk ratio on that. Right? In fact, let me make that a little bit smaller, just like that. So profit target, oops, ah. And so, okay, so what we're essentially looking at here, we're looking at a 3 to 1 risk reward on profit target number one and then profit target number two is uh, twenty dollars and seventy eight cents here so that's probably about a we'll say five to one risk ratio on that one so that's about a five to one on that right there so yeah not too bad you'd be risking about about three dollars and seventy five cents going after about nine dollars and ninety eight cents and then going after twenty and twenty eight here so Here's the other thing about this is that you can come in here and you can do some analysis on here. You can come in here and run your Fibonacci's. Uh, if you were to come in here, in fact, let's back this up a little bit here. If we look at this, maybe draw a trend line uh, just like that. And you see here we're above our trend line here. So a little bit more corroboration. There's a couple different trading strategies we can teach you on how to get a little bit more uh, corroborate, cor corroboration on this here uh, regarding how this works. In fact, wait, let's come in here and see how our Fibonacci's line up here. Uh, there was one set of Fibonacci's and then the second one's just like that. So that's where it's telling our Fibonacci's are looking to go on this as well. So that's how you can use this, my friend. Simply coming in here, uh, you can use it as a standalone tool. Uh, once again, utilizing proper risk management on this here, uh, you can quickly find some opportunities in the market just like that. So what I'm going to do right now is we're about to go into Forex as well. I promise you I would show you some Forex trades. We're still looking pretty good on time. Let's see here. Yeah, we have about uh, 25 minutes left here. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here. I'm going to reset my scanner here. Let's come in here. Let's reset the scanner. And actually, hold on a second here. Uh, let's set this here. Let's reset this. And what I'm going to do right now uh, is I'm actually going to ask for some participation here uh, from everybody here in the room. Go ahead. Type some ticker symbols in if you'd like for me to do a quick search here on some ticker symbols you would like for me to look at here. Go ahead here. So, okay, John says NFLX. Thank you for that. Uh, I got Adam says Apple. Uh, we got Facebook, FB. Uh, we got McDonald's, MCD. Uh, G says uh, BP. Uh, we got here uh, KMI. Thank you for that. Uh, Coke is another good one. Thank you for that. Uh, Under Armour and uh, CL. Thank you for that. ED, we can do that as well. Amazon. Now, just a couple more. I got a lot of you guys have been some, some in here. Uh, T, 
We got that as well. And let's type in Tesla and one more GE. So let's go ahead. Let's see here what we got going on. So uh, if you have some stocks you're looking at, you simply can come in here, do a quick search, and let's see what we got going on here. So uh, GE, I remember, I think it was Robert said GE. Uh, yeah, so we were, we're in GE right now, hit prop, first profit target. I'll look here after that one. Uh, whoever typed in uh, AT&T, uh, we've hit both the profit targets on that one. Uh, now we have on Tesla here. Tesla is a pre-sale opportunity. Uh, BP is a pre-sale opportunity. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you here. Uh, okay, Coke. Yeah, so uh, I saw that uh, Leon here says that he likes Coke here. So let's go ahead and do Coke right now. Uh, Coke is saying it's a pre-buy at 133.97. First profit target's at 162. Second profit target's at 174. Uh, we're risking about $9 on this trade. So just like I did on the other one, I'm going to move this over here to the side, just like this. Oops. I pull the chart up on this. And just like this here. So, yeah, Chris is asking uh, here as far as uh, what does pre-buy, pre-sell. Uh, what this means is that it's before we've actually have triggered this entry, Chris. I hopefully that explains uh, what I'm trying to explain here. So let's go ahead. Let's move this over here to the side, and we'll go ahead and we'll pull that chart up on Coke. And I promise you we'll jump in here to the Forex market in just a second here. So C-O-K-E, and that was on a daily. So let's go ahead and let's pull this up. Uh, just like that here. So uh, here's what we're looking at here. On Coca-Cola, it's telling us that our entry is at 133.97. Right there. So, oops. So 133.97. That's our entry. So uh, we've actually have already triggered this one. Uh, great. So we're already uh, in this trade. Uh, our first profit target is going to be at 162, 162 even, and then our next profit target is telling us it's going to be at 174.68, and we'll make that orange to match what's on the scanner, just like that. I'm going to go ahead and move this over just like I did on that other one, and just like that here. So uh, just so everybody understands what we're doing here. Let's see if I can pull that back over just like this. So you can see here our pre-buy, that's what the market scan is calling, is at 133.97. First profit target's at 162. Second profit target's at 174. And uh, for those of you wondering about the stop loss, uh, stop loss at 124.22. So we come in here. And we make that red. Just like that here. So on this one here with Coca-Cola, we're risky. In fact, actually, if we're already up, let me show you what we're already up for the day. We're about two dollars up on this one uh, based on that, that trade. It's called. Uh, we're risking about nine dollars and seventy-one uh, going after twenty-seven. So we have essentially here about a three, three to one risk on this trade. And then our second one up here. Oops. It's going to be up here. Uh, 4148. And what did I say we were risking on this? Nine. So we got about four to one. Nice little four to one risk ratio on this one right here. And if you want to come in here, you could do some analysis. Uh, you also, you, the other neat thing about this is that this is on a daily time frame. I'm willing to bet that a lot of you probably don't trade on a daily time frame. Uh, the neat thing about this is that you have this all set up. What you can do then is simply come in here. Let's say that maybe you want to trade on a one hour time frame. The market scanner is calling this on the long-term trade. Uh, you can come in here on your one-hour time frame, and you can do some analysis on here. In fact, let's see what our Fibonacci's are showing us here, uh, just like that. So we've already hit uh, one, two different Fibonacci. So we're now looking for that next uh, Fibonacci swing, uh, just like that here. So yeah, somebody's just asking about this the market scanner here. Yeah, this, um, the market scanner is built into our charting platform. Uh, this is our ultimate charting platform. Uh, we do have these neat built fe built-in features. We have that smart Fibonacci tool I just showed you, smart trend line, uh, support and resistance here. So I'm basically just showing you the market scanner here. Uh, the neat thing about this is that you can actually come in here, do some analysis, uh, utilizing the charting software as well. So here's where we go ahead right now. I just showed you a couple examples here with uh, stocks and options. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's pull the market scanner back up. I have about uh, about uh, 20 more minutes left here, so we're doing pretty good here on time. Uh, yeah, actually, what I'm going to do here, uh, some of you asking some good questions here. Uh, let me pull the market scanner back up. Uh, yeah, the market scanner, it is built right in to our charting platform. 
Uh, the neat thing about this is that normally you would have to become a student of ours and you'd have to get the charting platform to get access to the market scanner. In fact, let me come in here, let me reset my scanner here as I'm about to show you some uh, stock and options. Uh, but the neat thing about this is that, uh, hold on one second, let me pull this up here. Uh, for those of you wondering about this, the market scanner, uh, it is web-based as well. So for those of you who are not a student of Market Traders Institute, this is going to be an opportunity today to actually get to take the market scanner for a test drive. And uh, the neat thing about the market scanner is if you don't have our charting platform, uh, what you can do is you can open this up in a tablet, on a smartphone, uh, any, any uh, device that has a web browser. I uh, you simply, you'll get your username and password here today. I uh, simply come in here, type that all in and you can log in, and the neat thing about this is you use this on a desktop computer, on a tablet, smartphone, laptop. Uh, I have a 10-inch tablet that I use this with, I think, through Chrome or Firefox or one of those, and you can access web-based just like that. So that's the neat thing about this today is that you don't have to be a student. Uh, you can actually access here. And the other neat thing about this is that uh, you will also get access to training videos on this as well. You'll get access to this back-end uh, portal right here. I'll have all the information on how to use the market scanner, uh, a bunch of different information is part of this as well. So I'm going to go ahead. I just want to show everybody that here. But what I want to do is let's go ahead and uh, have about like about another uh, 15 minutes or so. Uh, let's jump in right now and let's start talking about uh, the Forex market here. Because I saw a lot of you are stock traders. Uh, let me quickly explain to you how the Forex market works here. Now, the neat thing about the Forex market is that it's a very liquid market. Uh, it's a very large market. There's over $5 trillion that's traded daily in the market. Uh, it's a very flexible market. Uh, it's traded 24 hours a day, five days a week. So unlike the stock market, uh, which is traded during the day, uh, uh, Forex market, you can trade it around the clock, Monday through Friday, pretty much. Uh, the only thing about this is that your brokers can provide you leverage. Here in the United States, you're going to have a 51 leverage. Uh, it might be different if you're in a different country here, so you can utilize leverage uh, for your benefit in this market, and it's a very easy to understand market as well. So uh, the thing about this is that, like I said, the Forex market is the largest financial market. Uh, there's over $5 trillion that is traded daily in it. Uh, the neat thing about the Forex market, which I mentioned earlier, is that there's only about 60 different currency pairs to trade. Uh, we focus on about 20 of those different currency pairs. So instead of going in, uh, trying to look at multiple stocks, if you're trading the Forex market, you're really only, only going to be trading probably looking at about 20 uh, different currency pairs, if that. Now, the Forex market's a little bit different than the stock market. In the Forex market, uh, you actually trade, you know, what you're trying to do is you're trying to capture what are called pips. Uh, in the Forex market, what you're doing is you're trading currencies here. Uh, for instance, you might be trading the dollar versus the euro. Uh, you might be trading the yen versus the, uh, the pound, uh, different currency pairs here. But ultimately, what you're trying to do is capture pips. I'll explain how that comes here together in just a second. Uh, but a pip, basically, if you're looking for a unit of measure that's smaller than a penny, I think most of you already know that a penny, uh, there's about 100 pennies in a U.S. dollar, so a penny represents one one-hundredth of a U.S. dollar. Uh, a pip it represents one one hundredth of a penny. It's measured by the fourth decimal point here. So uh, let's go ahead and right now, and now you have a kind of an understanding of how the Forex market works. Uh, this was the trade that I showed you here last week on the pound Canadian dollar. Uh, this is what ended up happening here. It showed us our profit, our entry, first profit target, second profit target. Uh, these were the results. There was our entry, uh, first profit target, we captured 182 pips. Uh, second profit target was uh, 438 pips, just off that trade I showed you last week. Now, for those of you wondering how much is a pip worth, it depends on what your lot size is. Uh, if you're trading a micro lot, it could be worth about 10 cents. Uh, if you're trading a mini lot, it's, it could be worth about a dollar. Uh, if you're trading a standard lot, it would be about $10. So if you're trading a standard lot on this, uh, that would have been about a, what, a $1,820 trade. Uh, this one down here would have been a $4,380 profit on that one right there. So let's go ahead. Uh, once again, we can teach you in detail. We provide full education as far as uh, trading with the Forex market. Uh, we actually focus more on the Forex market here. But what I want to do is let me quickly come in here and let's switch this over to the Forex market. Let's come in here and let's just do a quick opportunity here and show you some of the opportunities that are going on in the Forex market here as well. So uh, once again, we can come in here. We set our signal. We're going to use a daily signal. Uh, conservative, and we can choose either the Forex market or we can come in here and choose a specific currency pair that we're looking at. And we can choose to be bear, bearish or bullish on the long term and short term. So I'm going to very simply come in here, let's hit scan all, and let's see what the market scanner is showing us here. So here's what it's showing us here on the daily signal here. Uh, let's see here. Let's bring this down a little bit. Uh, okay, the, the New Zealand dollar, US dollar, uh, we have entered on June 1st. We've already hit both of our profit targets. We're up about in 14 days, 162 pips off of that one here. In fact, you see some of the profits here on this one here, the New Zealand dollar, Canadian dollar. Uh, we entered on May 31st. 
Uh, we haven't hit our profit targets yet, but we're already up 201 pips off of that one here. Uh, New Zealand dollar, Japanese yen, we captured 54 pips, we closed out on that trade. Uh, the Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar, uh, we were shorting the market on here, and we would have captured 202 pips off of that one. So we don't have any actual entries here on uh, the daily time frame right here. So what I want to do is let's come in here, and let's go ahead and let's narrow this down. Uh, is, anybody, is there any specific time frame that anybody trades on? I'm going to go ahead and ask for a little participation here. Uh, are there any specific time frames that anybody trades on? Uh, is anybody trading on 60, 120, 240? Go ahead and type that in, and I'll pull that up here. Okay, yeah, so i got yeah, a couple 60s here, uh, 120, 240. Uh, okay, yeah, got a lot of you. Okay, so let's go ahead. Uh, let's just do the 240 here for, for simplicity's sake here, and let's hit pre-buy. Let's see what we got here. So we have the uh, U.S. dollar, Swiss franc, and the New Zealand dollar, uh, Swiss franc here as well. These are both pre-buy opportunities. Uh, let me see if I can quickly eyeball this here and see uh, which one would be the better opportunity. So it's looking like, and they're, all, they're both looking pretty good right here. Uh, actually, this uh, U.S. dollar Swiss franc might be the better one. So once again, we can simply come in here, and here's what it's telling us. In fact, let's click on the candles. Here's another thing about the market scanners. If you look here, on the 60-minute time frame, 122, 40, and 480, uh, we have bullish signals on that here. So a little bit more corroboration as far as uh, which direction we think the market's going. Uh, so basically, like I said, we can pull this over here to the side, and we simply can go into our chart. So I'm going to open up our chart right now here in just a second. Let's see if I can move this over. There we go. And once again, I'll pull this up here in just a second. In fact, do I already have that window already pulled up? No. So uh, we come in here to our charts. And this was the U.S. dollar Swiss franc. Uh, USD. There we go. And that was on a 240. So let's go ahead and let's open that up. Yeah, for those of you that would like for me to do a specific currency pair, just bear with me here. I'll show you an example here on the Forex market, and I'll ask you to type in some currency pairs. So uh, here's what we got here on, uh, on the U.S. dollar Swiss franc here. So let's go ahead. Uh, it's telling us our entry would be at uh, 96.88. So we're looking to enter into the market bullish at 96.88, our first profit target. is going to be at 97.23. Right there, there's our first profit target and second profit target is going to be at 98, 98.59. Oops. There we go. And once again, let's move this over here to the side. And I'll show you how we're getting this information. Yeah, it's coming right off the market scanner. Once again, just like that. So once again, there's a couple different ways you can use the market scanner. Uh, you can use it simply to find your entries, your profit targets. Uh, the another neat thing about this is that you can actually kind of use this as a guide, and then you can come in here and do some analysis here. So if everybody can see here, oops, let me move that over here. Uh, first profit target is 96.88. I'm sorry, entries at 96.88. First profit target is 97.23. Uh, second profit target is at 98.59. Now for those of you wondering here, Oh, let me put the stop loss on there. I apologize for that. Let me put the stop loss on. We're looking at a stop loss on the 240s at uh, 9623. Now, where'd that go? Let me make this large here. So, 9623. So there's our stop loss here. So we're looking at right now, uh, if we were to take this trade, uh, we're going after for profit target number one, about 35 pips. So we'll be looking at about 35 pips right there. Uh, second profit target, we'd be going after about 168 pips. And our risk on this trade, per what the market scanner is telling us, is uh, 66 pips. So uh, this would probably, this might be one uh, you might not want to take. Because for instance, here, oops, for instance, uh, our first profit target, 
uh, is not even a one-to-one -one risk ratio. So you might want to even avoid this one here. Uh, second profit target, however, is about what about that's about a three-to-one risk ratio here. So once again, you can come in here, do some analysis. Uh, you can come in here and, and analyze the market and decide whether uh, this is an acceptable trade for you as well. So uh, yeah, John's asking here, how do you calculate the pips? John, built into our charting platform, we have this tool uh, just like that, it measures it. If you look in the upper right-hand corner of the screen up there, it shows you the range, and that is the PIP. So uh, that's the only thing. Yeah, the charting platform, my friends, this is part of our full education. Uh, it is not part of the market scanner. However, we might be able to get the charting software in your hands as well uh, as part of another program. Uh, that can be something I can explain it here in just a second here. But what I'm going to do is I have about, we have about another four minutes or so before I need to bring this to a close. So what I'm going to do, uh, let's see here. So John, okay, well, John's asking here, how does uh, 66 translate into 96? Let me see if I can figure out. Oh, I, I went this way. John, if I clicked on, here's our entry, and I dragged it this way here. Yeah, for those of you, yeah, that's, that's the thing, my friends. If you look here, you can see that would be uh, 60, uh, about 66 pips this way. Uh, for those of you wondering how you make money in this market uh, if it's going down, let's say if the market were to go against us here, we'd be risking that. Uh, we can teach you how to short the market as well. Uh, for those of you that trade options, we teach you how to utilize put options as well as far as trading this year. But what I want to do is very quickly here, if everybody can, I'm going to pull the market scanner here. Let's, go ahead and let's pull this up here. And I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to put this in your hands once again. I'm going to reset my scanner. And uh, if you, everybody wants me to type in a specific uh, a specific currency pair. I'll go ahead and do that right now. We'll do some quick analysis on here uh, as we're moving forward here. Okay, great. So we got the uh, US dollar yen, uh, USD JPY. Uh, any other ones here? Anybody else wants a different currency pair here? Pound dollar. Uh, anybody else here? Okay, so uh, I got two people typing this in, so let's go ahead and let's do that right now. Oh, the Euro US dollar. Thank you for that. So Euro US dollar. Uh, in pound, GPB, uh, NZD, New Zealand dollar. So let's go ahead and do a quick scan here. And, okay, who did the Euro, US dollar? That was John. Okay, so John, uh, we're looking at a potential uh, pre-sell opportunity here on the Euro, uh, US dollar. So we cl simply click on this here and hit the candles. And once again, we simply can come in here. Let's see, it's going to let me, there we go. I'm going to move this over here to the side. We'll pull up the... Uh, Euro US dollar. Oops. Uh, Euro US dollar. And that was on a 240 minute time frame. I didn't reset that. So uh, we can come in here. And I have about two more minutes before I have to start wrapping this up. So let's see if we can quickly get in here and we can do some quick analysis on this right here. That's taking a little while here. Now, uh, okay, there we go. So uh, once again, very quickly, uh, we're saying our pre-sell opportunity is at 111.62. So it's telling us, that, okay, so there. So, so we're already in this trade. We're already in this trade, and we're already up about 32 pips. So yeah, about if we had gotten in a little bit earlier on this one, there would be a nice opportunity. Our first profit target is going to be at... 1.112, make that blue, right there, and then the next profit target is going to be at 1.103, make that orange, and there we go. So I'm going to go ahead and move this up, and let me bring this over here to the side once again. I'll show you where, once again, for those of you who may have just joined us, where I'm getting this information. Uh, it's coming right from the market scanner. Uh, as you can see here, it's telling us our pre-sell opportunity. Meaning we would short the market, which we were already in this trade here, uh, at 1.1162. Uh, 1 uh, first profit target is at 1112. So we're only a couple pips away from that, and then the next profit target's down here. Now, the neat thing about this is that, yeah, we've already have entered into this trade. Uh, the neat thing about this is that if we're still going after profit target number two, uh, there's still about 137 pips of opportunity on this trade. Now, the other neat thing about this is that if you want to come in here and do some analysis, maybe we'll come in here and run our Fibonacci's. Uh, actually, look at this, my friends. Uh, for those of you that know anything about Fibonacci's, look at this. Uh, right here, we had a pullback at our red retracement level. 
Does everybody see that right there? Look at that. The market scanner is almost calling us exactly uh, where we're looking to go on this trade. If we went a little bit more corroboration on this, uh, we also had a counter trend line break right there. So this is looking like a pretty good trade right here. Uh, the other thing we'd be looking at if you're looking to get into this trade, uh, to go after profit target number two, what I would be looking at, in fact, let me clean this up here. I'd be looking for the market to probably come down here, hit our extension, might pull back a little bit and then look to go after it just like that. So that's a little bit more advanced here for those of you that are looking at some analysis on here, uh, just like that here. So I, that's how I'd be looking at Yeah, we might have missed the first entry here, uh, but there might be another potential opportunity. And like I said, if we get in here uh, where the current market is, you're looking at about a potential 135 pips of opportunity. So I've got about four more minutes, my friends, here. Uh, once again, for those of you who may have missed this here, I showed a couple of these trades last week uh, on the pound Canadian dollar last week. During Investor Inspiration, I showed you this trade. Uh, we captured uh, hit profit target number one is 882 pips. Uh, second profit target was 438 pips right there. I uh, called live right in the uh, Investor Inspiration thing here. Now, I have about four more minutes to explain to you how you can get this in your hands here today. Uh, the neat thing about the market scanner, it's going to do all of this for you, show you pre-buy and pre-sell opportunities. You'll have your predetermined risk-reward ratio. You can then determine whether it fits within your risk tolerance. Uh, you can do customized time frames, and there are customized uh, watch lists as well. Now, once again, it's going to include your entry, stop loss, profit targets. You can either use the information the market scanner is giving you, or you can come in here and do some analysis on here and decide uh, whether that fits within your uh, your tolerance on this trade and whether it fits with you. Now, here's another thing about the market scanner is that normally it is included with our charting platform. You're actually going to get the market scanner software here today. If you already have our charting platform, you'll be able to access this right from the charts. If you don't have our charting platform, uh, you can access this right from a web browser. Now, you're going to get that training video, the training system that I showed you, I pulled that up. Uh, you will get about $2,000 worth of Forex profit boosting free bonuses are included about this. And uh, if you continue with our this here, uh, you will get a lifetime of support as you're going along. Now, the neat thing about this is that, like I said, uh, normally to get the market scanner, you would have to be a student of Market Traders Institute. Uh, it would cost you about $299, and you'd have to access it through our charting platform. However, as part of Investor Inspiration here today, we're doing something special. Uh, we're going to let you take it for a test drive here today uh, for two weeks. Uh, it's actually for a month. For your first month, it's only going to cost you $99, uh, but we're going to give you 14 days to take this for a test drive risk-free. And then if you choose to continue beyond the first month, it's, where it costs, it's only going to cost you $199 a month after that. So if your first month, we'll save you $200 off this, and then for just $199 after that here. So let me just I'm send out a link to everybody here in the room. Uh, if you are interested in this here, to get started, once again, this is only for investor inspiration. Uh, normally, you'd have to be a student, have to go through our entire program here to get this. We're actually offering this today as a standalone tool. And John, no, this does not include the charting platform, uh, but we can show you here how you can get the charting platform as well, uh, as separate here. I I'll explain how you can do that here in just a second here. So uh, what I'm going to do is, like I said, you're going to get 14 days to take this for a test drive or a three. So what that means is that uh, you go ahead, you click on that link that we just sent out, you go ahead and you register, put your billing information for that $99. Uh, today is, what, Thursday the 16th, so we'll have until, what, about two weeks, that would probably be until the beginning of July uh, to take this for a test drive risk free. So whether you find the value in this or not, you have 14 days to take it for a test drive, make the decision whether this is for you. So that's our investor inspiration here today. I have about one or two more minutes left here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to send that out into the chat box one more time, that link. Uh, and I'm going to explain to you how you can actually register for this here uh, in just a second here. And some of you asked some good questions here. I'll, I'll, I'll explain that here in just a second here. Uh, Mohammed says, uh, is it a ninja platform or is it software? Yeah, this is just the software for the market scanner. In fact, let me pull that up once again. Let me see if I can quickly pull that up. Yeah, the market scanner, for those of you that don't have our charting platform, uh, you can access it from a web browser. You can access it from Internet Explorer, uh, from uh, whatever bro web browser you have. In fact, you'll get the login information for all this as well. Uh, you will get the back end. You'll get the information to log into this. You'll go through all the training videos and everything just like that. And for those of you wondering how you can actually log in and register for this to get this that $99 trial here today, uh, you go on that link. It's going to pull you up to this page. It's going to go over everything that I just showed you here today. Once again, it's a risk-free opportunity for 14 days. Take it for a two-week test drive. See if this works for you. If it doesn't, you simply go ahead, you return the scanner, we give you all your, your $99 back. If you choose to continue, uh, each and every month after that, it's only going to cost you $199. So all you have to do is simply type in your billing information right here, uh, and then your payment information, 
place your order, uh, you'll probably be getting two different emails. You get one email that's going to let you know uh, what your login is to log into the scanner, log into the back end, and then you'll also get that information as well.